Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another daily update video for Monster Super League. So, today I'm basically going to be farming up my Water Yukina. Um, finally, like, I finally have her at Evil 3. I think I did, the, did that, you know, a few days ago. And I got her to 6 stars yesterday. So, I'm basically just going to try to raise her level today and try to get her to max level. Um, my next monster that I'm 6 starring is probably going to, well actually no, not probably, it's, it's definitely going to be the water um, Miho or Horan. And she's going to be my second sapper for my team. So basically my team's going to be running two sappers and I'm going to be running um, running the the water siren. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep, I keep calling her mermaid, but she's actually, she's actually a siren. Is there a difference between mermaids and sirens? Um, anyways, we I'm gonna be running her because she has like 30% leader skill for like defense monster or I mean defense percent leader skill for for water monsters and I'm gonna be running a full water team then this way everyone gets the gets the benefits um, my my water Hana is probably gonna have to wait a little bit because I I need to farm enough um, well, actually, I can't. I can't really farm them, but I need to collect enough gleams to make my water Hana eventually, you know, Evil Three or Evil Two, so I can make her Evil Three through the fusion. Um, I do have one in inventory right now. Like I have a water gleam in inventory. After this week's, um, you know, after this week's arena ends in one day, I will be able to get another water gleam. And I haven't done my Tower of Chaos yet. And once I get get finished with this I'll be able to get another holy gleam um, and then this this will be enough to make her evil too I'll, I'll do the fusion afterwards they actually made some changes to the water Leo so I'm actually considering raising him to uh, doing the fusion for him too if I can um, if I can farm enough of these snowies but I think it's it's probably not that hard I mean I do have one two three four five I think there's six right yeah I have six snowies right now wait does that mean I haven't gotten any more snowies yesterday? Well, that's that's really unfortunate. Um, but I did get a few sirens yesterday, so I, I spent a little bit of time just um, just farming some farming for some gems. Um, I, so I wasn't like leveling like super diligently, but I, I spent a little bit of time farming for some gems and trying to just basically get enough triangle gems because my team actually needs a lot of triangles. I'm not sure how many more triangles I'll need like after the fusion. Right now it's one like. I, I'm a little bit sad that it turned into triple triangle because this is a little bit harder to gym. Um, but you know, if if this fusion turns into a triple triangle or something like that, then I'll, I'm gonna have to get even more um, triangle slots. So I'm kind of just preparing for that just in case because right now I'm w kind of waiting for the arena to reset in one more day before I can get my gleam, um, do trap or do the tower, and then eventually you know make her make her uh, evil three. I will do. I do need ten more snowies, though. All right. So, I think my farm time's like actually really, really bad. A lot. A lot of you guys gave me some suggestions. Like you guys said, like you know, don't farm this map. This map's slower. But um, the problem is, I'm I'm not farming this map just for exp. I'm also farming it for the sirens because I need the sirens in order to um, in order to do do the fusion for my dark victorious. Basically, like I need to grab a lot of sirens to do the fusions, and then just fuse a lot of uh, Victorious. I really, really like her. I think she's a she's a really great monster, um, especially for the arena. Just like I'm really happy that I, or really glad that I raised her. She's definitely a lot stronger than she was at Evil One, and once I get her to Evil Three, she's going to be even stronger. Um, I think it's a lot more achievable to get her to Evil Three through fusion than it is to try to, you know, maybe get like an Evil Three Fire Arthur. It's, I don't know. It feels like it's impossible for, almost impossible for someone um, that isn't like, you know, really, really hardcore pay to win to to have an Evil Three Nat Five. Unless you play like during the first month, and maybe if you didn't the variant method enough, maybe you already got an Evil Three by then. But now, like everything's balanced out, I don't think you can. You you can exactly do that anymore, um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to find ways around like just I don't know I I, I think I've been I haven't been spending on the game um, recently I I really just I I bought like the one of the 15 day packs and that was pretty much it like I I stopped buying those like 90 dollar packs I I'm kind of kind of broke now you know so I <laughs> I um. 
I I just decided to not go like hardcore free to play, and I think this is a pretty good idea because it actually shows a lot more um, just obtainable teams for for people. Because like even the team I'm running right now, you don't necessarily need to use these monsters. You can use some very very similar monsters, and as long as the concept is the same, you can still run a team and do like golems v10. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to find an alternative right now. Just uh, this is my experience. Like a pretty long experiment. It's been going on for like a week already, and it's probably going to go on for another week before I have everything ready. But once I do have everything ready, it's either going to be okay. I'm going to start farming B10. Um, it's going to be successful, or it's going to be a failed experiment, and I, <laughs> I go back um, to farming like um, you know B789 like before, and wait till I eventually pull like a Water Persephone or something like that. But I don't think it's gonna it's gonna fail. It's definitely gonna work. Um, I've seen people run. Well, I've heard of people r running similar teams. I haven't seen people run similar teams. Um, but you know, some of them like were just old Reddit posts about when they first started doing Golems B10. Um, they did it with like you know two two sappers, Water Persephone, and then one active healer. And I was thinking, what if I what if I've made my units tankier, run like two water water or not water healers I'm um, two active healers um, and then and then just run you know two sappers like like they did before I I don't have the fire Persephone I I don't think like I don't think she's really needed um, I I am basically just replacing my second sapper slot with the with the uh, water nine tails and I think she's definitely gonna be able to do her job she's basically just there to provide saps even if she doesn't provide as many saps she's still gonna be able to you know just keep landing well, well not keep landing but like every maybe every other turn land one sap on the boss um, and even if he like if he resists then maybe every three turns land a sap on the boss like if you if you land one sap on the boss that's already that's already uh, like 50 or not 50 uh, 5% of his HP gone, you know. You land 10, 10 saps, that's that's 50% of his HP gone. You land, you land 20 saps, he's dead, you know. So, um, I don't think you exactly need to land 20 saps because most units still have a little bit of damage. So maybe by the time he dies, if you landed like 18 saps on him, he's probably going to die. He does have like pretty high resistance. I've, I've known from just, you know, running golems b10 a few times that the boss does have very very high resistance but even with the highest amount of resistance as long as you can as long as you have a chance to land a few saps um and he's eventually gonna die you know so you just basically the point is to just survive until i land enough saps for me to kill him I'm gonna start gonna stop this auto battle now this is basically just showing off my my farm time um you know, it's not it's not exactly the fastest. It's a little bit slow, but you know, I I, I do what I can to to try and level my. Units. Um, I think the the main thing that's really really bad about like farming is the is you can't sell the gems. Like I wish there was an option to like automatically sell sell the gems instead of having to click back and then doing this every single time. I kind of I kind of want to run like a mouse script that does like exact clicking, so it goes like click 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 click, you know, and then eventually click sell. Um, but I think it might it might like mess up. Maybe not eventually click sell, but like maybe just uh, you know select them all, and then I have to manually click sell this way, just in case I activate the ma macro by accident and sell like a whole entire page of gems. That would suck. All right, so I, I also heard yesterday that you can get you can actually get um, variants in fusions even if you don't put in a variant because I've I've been getting some mixed comments like people are saying like oh if you put in a variant for fusion there's a chance that you can get a variant and then other a lot of more people were saying like even if you don't do it you can still get a variant as a fusion. Um, I don't think I exactly need any of them to become variants. Like I don't need this Hana to be a variant. She can. Like, I'm probably, I'm not even going to use her leader skill. It would be nice to have her leader skill, but I'm probably not going to even use it if I, if I, um, you know, get her as a variant. But I, I, I could, I could use it, you know, in the future. If I'm running like a, if I want to run like a full water team, I could, um, eventually one day after I get really, really good gens, well, not really good gens, but like better gens than I have now, take her out or take, take, uh, take out my, my, uh, siren 
and then put in a nuke or something like that, and then I'll run her leader for for the extra recovery. Um, yeah, I think that's basically. I'm I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing before. I know it's a it's a little bit boring. It's not like you know, it's not like I'm doing something different every day. There's this is kind of like a very very long term goal. Um, so just another week or so, another week and I'll be done. Just like at the very most another week um, probably not even that long because after today I'm probably gonna get my Yuki to to max to six stars max level and then spend another day and a half um, I'll, I'll have enough um, gold to make my Miho six stars and then spend another day and a half getting her to six stars and then I will um, arena will, will have reset by then and then I'll climb the the Tower of Chaos I'll probably make a video of just me like climbing the Tower of Chaos um, really really fast just nuking through the whole thing I think nuking through it is a really really good strategy I'm def definitely gonna show you guys that um, and then eventually eventually get her to six stars as well and then once I have everyone at six stars I'll just gem them all up and throw them into b10 and hope that everything works out so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.